Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a full coverage face of makeup with a warm smoky eye. This is sort of my go-to look on a day-to-day -day basis if I decide to do my makeup at all. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, go ahead and keep watching. So first I'm going to apply a base and this is Max Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. I usually just apply it with my fingertips to just kind of get it all over my entire lid from lash lashes up to my brow bone. Here we are. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to blend it in with shadows and also foundation. Today I thought, I haven't used this palette before but it's the Tartlet Toasted. I'm pretty excited to use it. These are all of the shades. It's nice because you get a, about half of them are matte and half are, have some type of shimmer. So that's what I really look for when I purchase a palette because I like blending out with mattes, but then it's kind of nice if you want to amp up your look with some shimmer. My favorite kinds of eyeshadows are warm. I'm all about the warmth on everything. I rarely do cool looks. This I'm pretty excited and it came with a nice little fluffy brush here that is perfect for blending out. So I'll use that as well today. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade here, S'more. I am going to take a, this is a Tony and Guy brush here. It's good, it's just really dense so I can pack on that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm pretty generous because you want to have enough shadow on there to really make your other darker colors blend out. I usually choose a shade that is pretty almost close to my skin color. It's kind of hard because I'm so fair, but... And then I'm going to go in with a smaller, fluffy, dense brush. And I'm going to use the shade in Cashmere which is this second shade here. I'm going to put this, ooh, this is really nice. It's super buttery, actually. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna put this all in my crease area and keep it, it doesn't have to be too tight right now just because I'm gonna go in with different colors that are darker. So this is, again, just another blending shade. As you can see, I'm just doing windshield wiper motions all the way out and all the way in on that crease and a little bit above once there's a little bit less product on your brush. And I like going pretty far out because I like my looks to be more dramatic, especially the eyes. Oh, wow, these are so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. What a great thing. It's the worst when you purchase a palette and you're so excited and then it kind of falls short. So I'm really excited about this. All right, and I'm gonna use that same brush and go in with Latte. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing and put that in my crease. Keep it tight on the inside until there is a little bit less product. And so I'm going to go ahead and keep this tighter than the last shade in my crease area because I still want that nice blend up lighter as we go so every shade darker is going to be tighter and tighter in the crease I always tap off my brush I don't know if the camera will pick it up because I it's gonna be too much product and I don't want the fallout so it's the perfect amount to keep on your brush <laughs> so, because you can always go back in and add more versus trying to take off, and that's way harder. So, I always like going in with less product and I can build up if I need. If you have more product on your brush every single time, it's going to build up and it can start to look muddy, so we don't want that. So here we go with that third warm on here. This is gorgeous. I'm not too concerned about the fallout, 
so there's no product on this brush I'm just blending out the shadows that are already on my eyelid because we really want it to be super seamless my biggest rule is blending keep blending and even when you think you're good with all the blending blend a little more because you can never blend too much we're gonna go in with warm which is this shade here and I'm gonna use the same Mac brush yet again let's go in that crease gosh these shadows smell so good I don't even know what it is. Is it like toasted marshmallows or something? For the palette? God, it smells good, I wanna eat it. Ooh. Go back in and blend some more. So as you can see, I am going for a warm, smoky eye, but you never wanna just put on the darkest shade first because you, you need to have that buildup of pigment so that you can get that seamless blend. This shade, Cozy. And I'm going to just really focus this on the outer corner here and keep that tight in my crease and outer corner. God, this is so pretty. Oh my God, this was such a good buy. It's the best feeling. Woo! These blend beautifully. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is a Bare Minerals brush. It's super, I don't remember. What kind of brush it is is already rubbed off because I've had it for so long. I actually stole this from my sister back in like high school. <laughs> Maybe not that long, but still. Sorry, Shannon. Okay, so I'm gonna take a really dense little brush here and I'm going to go in with the shade Flame, which is this metallic rust red. Oh, that is like my favorite shadow, type of shadow is like a red shimmer. So I'm going to really just pat my brush into it. And I have my Milani Make It Last spray here. This spray smells so freaking good. I'm like obsessed with it just because of the smell. <laughs> so I'm going to spray that brush with the shade Flame. And I'm going to pat this all over my lid. And I want to try and just press it in. This, I want to be more precise with. So by spraying it with the mist setting spray, any type of metallic or shimmer will really just amp it up. And that's what I like doing with almost every look, just because it makes such a difference. Fluffy brush, no product, we're going to blend. And I do not want to bring this above my crease. I'm going to take another Tony and Guy brush. It's just this flat little brush guy there. And I'm going to go in with Fireside, which is the darkest shade on the palette right here. And I'm just going to focus this on my outer corner. I don't want to go any higher than my crease. Definitely not. I'm just going to do my eyeliner and I can make a separate video for that. I'm still going to put on false lashes, so I just am going to apply a thin coat of blast black mascara. I'm gonna go in with my primer, which is the Too Faced Hangover RX. This was just a little sample that came with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. 
I'm in love with this foundation because it's a full medium to full coverage but it covers up exactly what I need it to. It's, I was a diehard for the Kat Von D Locket Foundation and this was just such a nice surprise. I'm just gonna rub my, film, my primer into my entire face here. It was a really nice surprise just because I love full coverage foundations just because I do such dramatic looks and I feel like it needs a full coverage foundation because it would look weird if I just went out like this with like barely any coverage or something and I have these dramatic eyes. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple of pumps of my Born This Way foundation. I am in the shade Pearl and then I'm going to take a damp beauty blender. So I'm going to just start on the cheekbone here. Everyone starts in different places, but I just always move from this side over. And I want to cover down onto my neck because no one wants a fresh foundation line right at their chin. So I'm patting this into my skin here and I'm going to leave my under eye open because that's where I'm going to put some concealer. So again, we're blending down. take that soft ochre paint pot by MAC again dish color and I'm going to put that on the few blemishes that I do have it's so weird I, my skin has been clear but just this week it's like angry man so I'm just gonna put that on my blemish areas I am currently going cruelty free with all of my makeup purchases from now on but I'm just gonna use the rest of what I've got just because I, I already bought it so and most of this I've been cruelty free for a little while now and then I'm gonna put this around my nose because that is where everyone usually tends to get a little bit red around that area so I just want to go ahead and this in there. I'm back in with the beauty blender to blend all of these little spots in. And then I'm going to go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I was a radiant creamy concealer gal with NARS for so long. But then they decided to sell to China, which in China you have to test on animals. It's the law, which is absolutely ridiculous, but that's just a whole nother deal that I can talk about another time. So I went ahead and heard great things about the ColourPop concealer and I'm in the shade Fair 5 and I'm like obsessed. I'm so in love with this product and it's only like six dollars compared to a thirty dollar NARS. So this is a great cruelty free dupe for the NARS. And then I also go in with the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and this is in the shade, I think, White Out. Yeah, White Out. Because it's really hard for me to find concealers that are lighter than my skin tone. Um, so I go ahead and blend this with the concealer because I like my concealer to be about two shades lighter than my face. Just because I think it looks better. And then I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools. Beauty sponge here, which is also cruelty free, and I love this sponge. It is so good. So I'm just going to pat in that concealer, and I'm gonna try and get as close to my waterline as possible. And you want to just press in because it's gonna get streaky if you just start pulling. And then you want to also go back and forth so that you don't crease because if you're just going to keep pulling out and out and out, it's going to crease that way. So you want to go back and forth in just padding motions. So I know that I probably look very fair right now. Once I go in and contour, then that will kind of balance everything out the way that I like it. 
I am going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. It is a translucent powder. As you can see, this was a real technique beauty blender, and I'm just gonna use that dry and just kind of get some product and just pack that under eye. I'm really just pressing that in firmly because I do not want this concealer to move. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation Broad Spec. I'm in the shade Fair 01, so this is just a matte powder. And I'm going to put this with a round foundation brush by Tony and Guy. I went to a Tony and Guy cosmetology school, so that's why I have so many brushes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that into my foundation. And I sort of want to try and blend the concealer and foundation together with this powder. Yet again, we're just pressing and bouncing. And I always like to go behind the ear as well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with cashmere, put it on a flat Tony and Guy brush, and I'm going to just put that all along my under eye because I'm gonna really smoke out my under eye here. So, this is again, we're gonna be blending from light to dark. And I kinda like to tilt my head more forward because then if I do have fallout, it's not going to fall onto my face. Okay, and then with the same Tarte Brown Fluffy Brush, I'm gonna blend that out. And sort of blend out the top shadow. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Warmth, so I want to press that into right under my eye. And I'm not going to bring it down as far as the other shade, just like the top, so we just want like a seamless blend. You, can, you don't have to be too precise under here because we're going to really blend and buff it out. And I always like to do my, my entire eye first before I do my eyebrows just because then I'll know how intense or light I need to draw on my brow. And we're gonna go in with Cozy, which is this shade here. And I'm not gonna go all the way in to my inner corner because I'm going to do a highlight shade to really try and open up my eyes. I probably stop right where my iris starts. And then we're gonna go back in with Fireside, this guy here. We're gonna keep that super tight and just on the outer corner. I'm gonna go in with a MAC pigment color powder and this is in the shade vanilla. This is an Urban Decay brush that came with one of their palettes and I am going to take a little bit of pigment there onto my brush as you can see and then I'm gonna take it with the spray and just really try and maximize the color on that there. So as you can see under the eye, on the outside, and above. And this is really just going to help open up my eyes, so I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. Blend that out with no product on my brush. Dang, looking out pretty, that looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some lash lashes on from Lash Pop. This is in the shade Send Nudes. Anyway, I'm going to put them on. I drew in sort of some wispy lashes there on the bottom and with just my liquid eyeliner. It's the first time I've ever tried. We're gonna go in with the MAC Eye Coal in the shade Costa Riche. It's this warm reddish brown and I'm going to put that into my waterline. This is one of my ride or die products, which I am so sad that I'm going to need to find a dupe for. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right in our waterline. 
and I'm going to only put it where I put my colored shadow, not into the highlight, because we want that to be as open and bright as possible. Now I'm going to go in with some black mascara. And I'm gonna do a few coats, so, so I start out light with that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, and I'm also just probably gonna do that off camera. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a MAC eyeshadow in the shade Shroom. Blending the shadow and the highlight together. Hey, okay, so now let's start contouring. I am just gonna go in with a the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is just a little sample guy I had, but it's a really pretty color. And then I'm gonna go in with my NARS Eda brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and carve out from the top of my ear down into the corner of my mouth. So we're just going to draw in a line there. And it smells like chocolate and it smells so good. Morphe G3. It is a super dense brush and I'm just going to start blending that upward and farther down. I don't want to start blending lower because then that's, we want the face to be lifted. So we want to kind of keep that line harsh there and then blend up. Then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette for the contour. Um, I have a broken shade, two broken shades in there, so I'm not going to show it on camera, but I'm going to take that darker color that is Sombre, Sombre, and I'm just gonna put that on the very outside and then on the very inside of this part. And then I'm going to take that same Morphe G3 brush and just blend that back only where I put it. And then I'm going to take, again, the lightest shade in the Shade and Light palette. And I'm going to take a small brush to do my nose, just to add a little bit of color in. And then the same lightest shade in the Kat Von D palette, and I'm going to do it here on both sides, and then on my jawline, and behind my ear, just to kind of make it look like we have a more chiseled jawline. Same Morphe brush, and we're going to blend it out with no product. So I basically have a brush that puts on color no matter what. I'm using and then I always have a second brush that is clean with no product and I buff everything out with that. Because everything just needs to be seamless. I'm gonna go back in with the MAC blush in Sun Bisque and this is just an angled fluffy Tony and Guy brush and I'm going to just kind of buff it in on the top of that contour. Not so much like the apples of my cheeks but right here we are going to take a second brush with no product this one is the crown brush by I don't know who it's by I don't know it's a, it's a little bit less dense just so we can really buff that out and again we're only buffing upwards I like everything dramatic, so that's exactly why I go so close to my mouth. And now for the highlights. I love highlights so much. It's like, can I just like be dipped in a pool of highlight? Yes, please. So I'm going to take a Tony and Guy brush that is just this kind of brush here. And I'm going to go in again with the MAC 
pigment color in vanilla. The same color that we did on our inner highlight. And I'm going to spray my brush. And then I have the product on and I'm going to spray again. Ooh, it's kind of long. I don't care. And then pushing that highlight right in here, my cupid's bow, above the eyebrow, for the nose, I think that's pretty good. Woo! Make me a disco ball. And then I'm going to take this brush here, which is just an elf brush, and I'm going to buff it out. Okay, and then finally I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Suede, and this is in the shade London. London. So I always start and make sort of a little X on my lips there. And then you always want to try and draw upwards versus downwards because that's going to give you a fuller lip if you bring it up. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on top of the liner that I already did. The, the lip liner will help hold the liquid lipstick in its place, so it's kind of like a primer for your lips, if you will. Now I'm just going to set it with the Milani setting spray, make it last again. Whew. It looked like I sprayed a lot, but I didn't because it's like kind of like messed up. So, <laughs> And I love just bathing in that shit. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me go do my hair. So I did my hair, but then decided that I wanted to just pop on a wig because that's what I like doing. They're so fun. I love wigs. I think they're so fun to have all these different looks. And this one's super tousled today, which I am a tousled kind of gal. So that concludes the makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified, when I post, go ahead and hit that bell button. All right, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Ooh, hot in here. It's a little toasty with my toasted palette. Ooh. Come on, Karen. Get in the frame. Middle. Make a decision here. There we go. La 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 la. There we go. Oh wait. Whoa 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 whoa. Hey, Minnie. Valentine. Oh, snappies. I really hope that doesn't come like that. This is Professor Meowington. He is my favorite guy. He's so handsome. I rescued him when he was a baby. Oh, he's my my guy. I'm a good boy. Oh, the struggle snuggle is real. But I know you kind of like it. Yeah, and he's even dapper. He wears a little bow tie. How cute is that? Okay, bye. Where is oh, fudge! Oh, oh, my lipstick case almost fell, but I caught it. My body hurts so bad. This is what happens when you live alone. You talk to yourself into your pants. In your pants.